Hey you guys, this is me, Miss Bobby, again, doing a, another quick check-in. I honestly just wanted to do this video while I was feeling the way I'm feeling. Um, I've noticed some things, probably things that I've always known, but because they're in the front of my mind right now, I just feel like I should talk about it. I have a really, really bad problem with holding on to everything people say and do to me or about me I do and it's becoming to be a big problem because it could have happened years ago but when the moment in my mind resurfaced it affects me like it's happening all over again or like it's being said all over again and um I don't even think being molested as a child affects me as much as some of the things that are being said and done now. It, it bothers me. It really does. So I'm trying to figure out a way to deal with that. I don't know. Because I guess I feel like I'm one of those people that I love everybody. I really do. Um, I don't meet strangers. I'm always friendly. But when I feel like I'm less than that to someone else, it hurts. And when people let let their true thoughts and feelings about me come forth, it's, it's mind-blowing that people feel and think the way they do about me. Um, I had somebody tell me one time that they didn't know what it was about me, but they just didn't like me. And this was an older gentleman, no one that I was, um, clearly it wasn't nobody that I was involved with because he doesn't like me, but I just remember him saying, I, I, you've never done anything to me. You've never said anything wrong. I just don't like you. And that, and this particular comment was made years ago and it still bothers me. Um, and something recently that was said was that, uh, in so many words that, uh, I don't know, like, I guess people just feel like I'm, I'm trying to seek attention by any means necessary, such as someone feels like I fall in love with everybody that I'm with. You're just madly in love with whoever you're dating. I don't agree with that. I've only been in love one time. And that was to my late husband. Yes, I've been married three times, but I've only been in love once. Now, I care deeply for anybody that I'm in a relationship with. That's the point of being in a relationship. But, um, I don't know, it just did something to me for people to think, well, you only date to get married. Well, I'm 33 years old. What other reason would I be dating? I honestly don't feel the need to date somebody for 10 years for them to tell me at the end of the 10 years that I'm not marriage material or they don't want to get married. I think that women have a misconception of how long you're supposed to date before you get a ring on your finger and before you walk down the aisle. But that's just my opinion. But no, I don't seek out people to marry. I am available for relationship and I hope that if we're somebody that are compatible, I want to be in a relationship, which means I want to be in a marriage. So people have looked at me in a way because I have been married three times and they have built their own conclusion about me and how I see love. That hurts. I just want to be loved. I just want to be complete. I just want to be whole. I want to have a family. I have a lot of health issues and I suffer from a lot of different body pains every day. Apparently, that makes me a hypochondriac. I hope I'm saying the word right. That's the word that was used this past weekend. It makes me feel some type of way to know that you can't express how much pain you're in to a family member or to a friend without them thinking in the back of their mind. Here she go again. That hurts. 
that really hurts especially considering that i'm the same family or friend that gives you all the laughs i'm the life of the party i'm the one that everybody's waiting on to get there but if i'm having a bad day or moment i can't express that but everybody wants to hear all the jokes i have to tell that really hurts and I'm very disgusted with myself right now, my physical self, because because of my physical pain, it causes me emotional distress. And when I'm when I get emotional, it makes me feel like I'm physically in pain. So it's it's just a, a ongoing cycle of a tug of war, a back and forth, and no one seems to understand. And I don't want to make excuses. I'm just tired. I just want to do whatever it is I can to feel better about myself, to be healthy, to be a smaller me, to be a positive me. And I feel like isolating myself from people is not really going to change anything. But then again, I feel like being around certain people are detrimental. I don't know what to do, you guys. I feel so bad right now. I really do. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to eat healthy. I've tried to work out. And I haven't given up on either one. I'm just not doing them to the best of my ability, I don't think. And with the little bit of resources that I have, I don't think that I am getting any type of results anyway. And I feel bad about even making this video because I sound so negative, so so like I'm giving up. Everything is negative coming out my mouth right now, and that's not how I want to be. Not for me and not for the people that's watching me. But I also believe in being honest and being real. And right now, real is... I'm hurting, I'm in a lot of physical pain, and I'm emotional, I'm upset, and I don't have anybody to turn to. Nobody will listen because I feel like nobody cares. And that's just not fair, because I feel like I'm here for a lot of people when they call on me. And when I'm not able to be there for them, they don't understand how bad that makes me feel, because all I want to do is help, and I can't. Losing weight is not easy for nobody. I honestly feel like that. But when you have one thing after another stacked up against you, it makes it hard. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> Excuse me. And get myself motivated. And try to make some things happen. I am um, at this point. I don't know if I'm going to take my vacation that I was talking about earlier. A bill came in the mail. I could have sworn I paid it. It said I didn't. So I got to pay my bills. You know, you guys know how I feel about that. And I'm just going to see if I can find uh, a very inexpensive, affordable gym and uh, if I pay my money for it I'm going to utilize it so it's just a matter of maximizing what I have and doing what I can whether I'm walking at the track every morning or going to the gym every morning the morning is when I need to do this um, or take a small break between getting off from work resting and then going straight to the gym and maybe that will also help me sleep better which I believe it has in the past but it's just a matter of affording another bill. A gym membership is another bill. I believe I'm about to detox my body from all alcoholic beverages, which I don't drink often, but I do drink. And I started back smoking the Blackie Miles. I call them lady cigars. I need to get rid of them altogether as well. 
it's just a lot of changes that I want to make and I just feel like I need some type of support. Um, I have a few of you guys who actually talk to me here and some of you message me on Facebook. I love you guys. Thank you so very much for all of the support and uh, showing concern and love that you guys give. It really does help. Um, it's just sometimes you want that physical that person here with you i want the phone calls i want the texts i want that buddy that is checking in on me asking me what i'm eating telling me what she's eating just and i know i'm 33 years old and i don't need to be treated like a baby i don't need someone to hold my hand but i'm not gonna fucking lie i want the help i want help i want help i want support i want someone here that's gonna keep me motivated and help me be determined throughout this process so fuck it. I'm, I'm just being honest. Can I do it by myself? I'm pretty sure that I can eventually. But right now, right fucking now, I want help. <sighs> being real. Just being real. You ain't got to hit like on any of my videos. You ain't got to share any of my videos. You ain't got to watch any more of my videos. Just know that I'm being real. I'm tired of being sad. I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of having aches and pains. And I'm definitely tired of dealing with being overweight. Struggling. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of it all. But that's my life on a Sunday morning, right? And believe it or not, I still love all of you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a super Sunday.